All right, if you want to add type, if you want to add some text to your image here, um, probably the simplest and easiest way to do that is just if you click up here on the type tool and you click on the uh, composition, you're going to see you get a whole bunch of, you know, it creates a new layer for you and you can type in, you know, birds, of course, right? And uh, if you highlight that, just like in Word or something like that, and you go over to the character, um, the character palette, you can kind of crank that up and down and make it uh, as big or as small as you want to. So, um, so again, you know, I can make that bigger or smaller. I can change the typeface if I want it to be something awesome like Hobo. I could do that. You shouldn't do that, actually. Hobo is a terrible typeface. Uh, Helvetica, you could do that. Helvetica is always classic. Um, and you could change all of these things just like you can in any other, um, any of these other uh, sort of um, Adobe products. So hopefully by now you're pretty familiar with that. But if you twirl down on that, again, we have our exact same like options. So we can make our text move around the screen if we want. I can go to transform and I can go to um, position here and I can click on that button and then I can have it, uh, you know, I could have a drop down on top of them. Uh, you know, and just have it come straight down on them if I want to over, over time. So it'll uh, kind of move. So I can make text move around the screen. I can make text get more or less like a uh, visible so I can click on the opacity button and if it's at a hundred percent I can have it go all the way down and then have it fade out when it gets to this point and have it be zero and I can kind of toggle it someplace in between here like you know, hold it at, hold it here at sixty percent uh, at that point and then maybe what I want to do actually is like have it fade in a little bit so I'll crank it to zero Add a new keyframe there, and then it goes, the birds, oh, it's falling, right? So so there's all kinds of stuff you can do with that. You can make the text get bigger or smaller. You can change the scale. You can also change those um, options here with all of the um, different things that you have. Um, there's a lot of options. So you want to like kind of keep this simple, I think. Uh, you can put text on a path and make it zoom around the screen if you want to. But um, again, this remember, there's a lot more detailed tutorials on the Adobe site. This is just getting you kind of going, um, giving you the basics of how to use it. So that's type. If you want to add some text, you most certainly can.